lecture I am going to discuss what how to connect MySQL to Visual Studio Code. So first important thing you need to go on the Visual Studio Code. Then here go to extension. So there you need to write MySQL. Press enter. So here you can see 916k people that downloaded this software and 523 that downloaded this and 4.5 start that has or getting this package so after that you need to click on this installing so this has been installed now you can see there is the icon that created so after that click on this icon so here this is the create connection so here you can see this is now connection name you need to give so test 11 and thereafter here group so that's fine and you need to select this mysql and if you scroll down here you can give host so automatically it's taken so if you wanna if you have any confusion about the host let's open the host port or uh, this all those things so let's open the mysql workbench so here you can see this that I'm going to connect with the root user. Okay, and this is now MySQL localhost 3306. So let's open. So host that is localhost. Let's give localhost. And this is root user 3306 and database. So here let's give the password. Root user password and this is the database that ready-made database that available and insert there this is the tables so now let's give here database giving secular and uh, thereafter password we need to give for root user give the password 3306 everything fine after giving all the things uh, correctly then you need to click on this connect so here you can see there is no any problem it's connected and now you can see circular or uh, tables that automatically comes here. So circular tables this all so actor wanna see the record of the actor. So for this one let's uh, uh, click here. So so deliver tables but here you can get this message of uh, free account not supported this one. So here free or basic free this is and for premium you need to pay this $90 so to avoid or uh, if you don't have if you have money then you can pay if you don't have money then let's uh, see the another steps so go to extension there you need to search uh, SQL tools and after that click on this package so here uh, or 71751294 lots of viewers that downloaded this package and uh, for a star that has getting so you need to install that one so if you install after that there you can see the icon that's created click on this icon and click on this add connection and any driver install yet don't worry this is searching or you need to click on this search vs code marketplace so if you click there here you can see sql tools my this is for mysql and mariadb so you need to click on this install so this has been installed and after all doing this one the next two thing is here you need to click on this sql tool and click on this add connection so select this stamps mysql so you need to give the this uh, do uh, this all those things so let's uh, give here connection name so giving here test my sql and then i'm this i'm going to connect with the root user so this is now connect uh, strings server and the post so localhost database giving secular and username root and uh, here let's give a uh, password and uh, if this all those things correct then you need to click on this test connection so connection successful save connection then click on this connect so here you can see 
there is the problem so here if I try to let's uh, disconnect and uh, connect once again then there is the problem request uh, connection this all those things this kind of message that I'm getting so or uh, this issue that comes because the uh, root user does not have the permission okay so or uh, root has root user does not have the permission so what we need to do let's open the command prompt and there we need to follow this important steps so first here we need to use mysql and give the password login with the root user so this is now moved to mysql so for this one path must, must be selected so after that the next is create new user so creating the new user paste so it's fine no any issue then after that we need to give okay grant all privilege so here user that created json so we need to give the grant all privileges to json and after that giving the grant you need to use your plus and uh, here after exit so it's by then after what you need to do so then I created the user JSON and the password this one so let's uh, move back to there and you need to click on this edit connection so here you need to give this terms username JSON because root does not have all the privilege so that create new user so JSON has the password Smith and after this one click on this test connection so it's fine next click on this save connection then connect so thereafter what you need to do so this uh, edited disconnect and this connect once again so this terms here you can see Sakila database table that's come there then here this is the all tables so table records so you can see this is the records inside the Sakila database tables right click the describe tables so this is the description about the tables and uh, right click then you can generate insert queries add name you can do whatever you want so this is the insert query according to this you need to give the insert so best thing about the visual studio code so if i write here select so you can get lots of options select select source this master this all so select a star from so you can use here this is the from and you can select this tables whatever you want city then what you need to do click on this run so this is the city record inside there so this is the most uh, simplest way you can easily connect to this mysql with the visual studio code okay so oh, this is the important thing so root user does not have the privilege okay so that uh, you need to create the separate user and uh, grant the privilege plus the privilege after that you can easily connect so these things that I will paste in the description from there you can easily use that so I hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you